He's recording! Recording audio! Now, don't get me wrong, I really like my job. I enjoy what I do, but, you know, someone's got to take one for the team, right? Um, and I guess, Sans. What's up? I'm Sonia Chu. In the day, I'm a presenter, an entrepreneur, and at night, sometimes I'm an overthinker, which is why I'm on this podcast and hosting you, our very first episode of Men Explain. It's a podcast where we really unpack different perspectives. And I'm going to be talking to guys of many different backgrounds, occupations from all walks of life, basically. And I feel like on behalf of my sisters, I want to thank the men, especially KG, who's our very first guest, for coming on board to explain the psyche and some of the questions, the hard questions that us girls have at times that we don't really get uh, solid answers for. Right. So no pressure at all yeah. being our first guest. Nothing. I don't um, feel anything. <laughs> but maybe you can just let our audience know what you do. Hi. First off, I just want to say I don't represent all men. My thoughts are just me personally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, my name is KG and I am actually with Wah Banana, a YouTube channel. I do my own YouTube channel as well. But mainly, I create content on YouTube, Instagram, and I would call myself a freelancer. Mm. Yep. So being a freelancer, I'm sure it was pretty tough during uh, the pandemic when it first hit, right? Um, pretty is an understatement. Oh. It was really tough. Let me just... <laughs> I had no income for like a good two to three months. Solid. Yeah. It was hit pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and did you feel kind of like a little bit insecure during that time? Like worried, anxious, stuff like that? Insecure, not really, but worried, yes. Yeah, because worried. I mean, the whole time we'll be at home, I was with my mom, my brother. Yeah. And you, you see, I, I still see my brother still working from home. Mm. You know, my mom's like housewife, you know, she's doing her stuff. So I'm, I'm literally stuck at home just trying to create content at home, which is not easy. Yeah. Because you can't really monetize that. It's very hard to earn money through that because there's no more clients and everything. But actually, that's when I started doing Twitch, mm. yeah, which was a new journey for me. Okay. So I guess we always got to like try to like find new ways to like monetize Improviser. yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my boyfriend became my photographer. So, I mean, that's also improvising, yep. right? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Learn new skills. <laughs> you learn new skills, yeah, exactly. I learned, I learned mahjong. Oh, you COVID. did? Yeah, I okay. did. Did you at least earn some money from that? <laughs> my mom won everything. Oh, no. <laughs> that yeah. sucks. You stick to your day job. Yeah, I, I should. Mahjong so, is everything. I mean, it's funny that you raise this up because today we want to talk about earning power. Yes. Okay, and I think in our society, we're kind of growing into the direction where we realize a lot of women around us, and I myself am noticing this as well, even as a woman, a lot of my girlfriends, they're becoming very ambitious, they're very successful in their yep. own right, and, and more than ever, are they very proud and uh, alive, you know, they mm. feel really alive to talk about their business, their successes and stuff like that. So, in this day and age, how would you feel dating a woman that earns more than you? Blessed. Blessed, I really am. Very blessed. <laughs> I tell you, no. <laughs> I think there's a whole stereotype where men feels like, oh, I'm a man. I need to be mm. the, the provider in the house. Mm. But coming from my perspective, because I'm a freelancer, to be honest, I don't earn much. Like, not a very stable income. Yeah. So most of the women that will be out there in Singapore would technically earn more than me. Mm. You know, I would really be blessed if, <laughs> if a girl would actually wouldn't mind dating me in the first place. Mm. You know? But I always feel it's not really... I don't think it's like a man thing. More like a woman's thing. Where... You know how like women wouldn't want to date a guy shorter than her? And how a woman <laughs> okay. wouldn't want to date some... Maybe... I feel, I feel like from a guy, I'm, I'm down with it. I'm okay. like, okay, sure. If she's taller than me, let's go. I have don't you, mind. Have you dated a girl taller than I you? Have. you? I have. I have. I actually have. Have you dated a girl that earns more than you? We have not reached that stage. You know, we oh, haven't... so you're dating? No, 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 no. no. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm single. Oh, you're single. Okay. Very single. Yeah. Oh, very single. Like. Yeah, okay. but... Because we have not reached... You know, when you're... You don't really talk about money straight away. Like, on the first date, how much you earn? Huh? Okay. No, oh my God! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would be intimidating and honestly yeah. a bit off-putting as yeah. well, right? So, okay. go back to your question. It's yeah. like, I would... I wouldn't mind. Yeah. And I think it's most likely very possible that in the future, if I date someone, she will earn more than me. Okay. Yeah. 
So, holla, because I feel like this entire five minutes, he was like, I'm single and ready to be... <laughs> That's all I got from that conversation that we it's had. It's true, I'm promoting I'm single, myself. I'm, single. <laughs> I'm promoting myself. Yeah. So, why do you feel like certain people or your peers maybe, mm. or maybe other guys, I don't know if you have these conversations because when I talk to my girlfriends, right. we have like hours of conversations about, about guys and, oh, I don't know, us overthinking and all that. I don't know yeah. what kind of conversations guys have behind closed doors or when you guys catch up. But has one of your like really good guy friends ever encountered something like this and was uncomfortable with it? I think there is a story where because one of my guy friends is actually a tuition teacher. Mm. You know, they do earn a lot but obviously it's like not that much. Huh? She's actually working in her own family business. Right. So she's actually earning easily double his income. Ooh. Easily. So for his case, he, he does feel the effect of it but mm. what he does is because they just had a new kid and everything so yeah. He, he turned out to be more like the stay home. I wouldn't say he's not entirely affected by it, but he jokes about it. Yeah. You know, he's like, eh, it's okay, well, I just stay at home, you know. I don't think it affects him, like, his men. Who, yeah, yeah. You know, like... He's comfortable like, with like, it. He's know? okay. He's okay with it. He's okay yeah. with it. And I think this day and age, there is, like, a huge paradigm shift, you know, mm. where women are, like, coming out, stepping out, and, like, oh, I want to be independent. You know, I want to be my own lady boss mm. I think this whole like hashtag lady boss thing very strong but mm. for him I think it's it's like I, I go back to the first point where it's like I think he's okay but it's more of how other people see it mm. yeah it's true it's all about perspective yeah. I feel sometimes right yeah. and whether you're able to accept it also and work it out with your partner Correct. but do you feel like some women actually downplay their wealth mm. or downplay their status mm. in society to make their partner feel more comfortable. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, that's solid. I'll, I'll share a couple of stories. Yeah. If, you know, in, in a while. Wow, that's solid. I think... Wow. Honestly, okay. If a woman comes to me, like, with dating, and then I realise that she's, like, earning 10 times more than me, mm. I think I would definitely be like, Ugh. you know, there, there's a there's a slight pain in me. Like, oh, man, I wanted <laughs> to be the one buying for dinner, but technically, you should buy dinner. You earn <laughs> way more than me. You should be the one paying for dinner. But no, no. Spitting the bill is fine. But... Yeah. It hurts a bit. So if she downplays how much she actually earned, I think it's more like trying to protect the guy ego okay. a bit. Yeah. Which I would be maybe a bit grateful for. Mm. But man. Yeah, that's a tough question. <laughs> yeah, that's right? a tough one. That's a tough one. Wow. So actually, okay, I'll share a story. Yeah, since yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. so much of the sharing, right? And like from my perspective as yes. well. A few many years ago actually, um, I was dating somebody. Um, he is now married with uh twins, by the way. So, yeah, if you ever... FYI, side note, every single one of my exes that I've dated are now married with kids. Most of them. So, I'm pretty much like Good Luck Chuck. Have you watched that that's movie? That's a movie. That's, that's a, a movie, movie about yeah. That. That's yeah, me. Yeah. It's very sad, but yes. <laughs> if you want to get married and have kids, <laughs> date me first. <laughs> that's the main takeaway from this entire podcast. So, it was interesting because, you know, back then, when I first started uh, getting into this business, right? Right. I really honestly worked really hard in the in the earlier years. Mm. I mean, I still do, but you know, as you know, when you just start, right, you really got to hustle and you got to get your name out yeah. there, you know, you really got to get into the grind. So um, initially, like when I attended this uh, exes, somebody's wedding, like one of his friend's weddings, you know, I met a lot of people and they were from an, they're from an industry that's completely different from ours. So I won't say what industry, but, uh, you know, they have zero idea of what I actually do. So a lot of people are like, oh, so what do you really do, like, on a daily basis? Like, and somebody asks, um, how much do you earn? Like, yeah, somebody just spat it out on the table. Whoa. And they asked, like, oh, on average, like, let's say if you do, like, uh, events and stuff, mm. and, like, you know, you do lots of stuff back to back. So I just threw out a random number, and they were honestly, like, they were shocked. And they were like, why, what, what, what? what in the world do you do to like be able to earn yeah. that, you know, that much? Because I think at that point, a lot of them were around the same age as me as well. And they were just, you know, getting into their business, right? right. They were still like growing and stuff. So it, to them, it was a little bit like, what? Like, I don't think what you do deserves that kind of money. So I was like, oh, it's a totally different skill, you know? Yeah. So at the same time, that was a bit of an uncomfortable situation because the guy that I was dating back then is like eight years older than me. And so I think at that point, even though eventually he's definitely going to be earning a lot more, at that point, to hear that his much younger girlfriend was possibly earning around the same as him, although he's like eight years older than me, I think to the whole table was a little bit like, 
shocking, right? Mm. And it kind of got a bit uncomfortable after that. So I don't know whether I regret actually saying something that's too close to the right. truth though. You know what I mean? Right. Maybe I should have downplayed it a little. I don't know. There are many thoughts that run through my mind sometimes. How would I have done it differently? How would I have dealt with it differently in relationships? Right. I don't think it's your yeah. fault. I think it's the person that asks you how much you earn. That's why. Who? That that's person for why? people, you know. And then if I don't say or yeah. I don't give a gift and I, I wasn't even giving like a real answer. Right, She's right, like, right. oh no, roughly around here, you know, because of the fact that mm. we have a lot of prep to do, you know, things can go wrong yeah. during a live show. That's the reason why not everybody can do what we do. Right. Like, I for sure can't do what they do, mm-hmm. right? So that's a tough one. Like, I don't know whether to protect my partner's interests, I should have downplayed it. Right. I think yeah. as a guy, we never downplay, we try to upplay. We always upsell. You know? <laughs> upsell. Yeah, we always upsell. <laughs> Over promise, but got deliver not. <laughs> yeah. We try, we try. We, okay. We try. Yeah, but I think it's it's, it's nice if yeah. the girl thinks about that aspect. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a bit thoughtful. Lah. But do you think it's very common now that the women are earning more than the guys? Wow. This one. Uh, you kind of addressed it in the beginning, yeah. but do you think it's co- more common than we think? I do think in Singapore context, yes, because first of all, like... You know, uh, we have to go NS. Yeah. So girls, they're oh, okay. ahead in the, the whole program, yeah. workforce and everything. So they yeah. get to advance way faster than a guy of the same age. Yeah. So I would technically think on paper that yes, girls would technically should be earning more. If mm. you're talking about if everyone has the same experiences and everything. Uh, but I don't know. Eh. Mm. Like, I, I, I never done a survey. Was there a survey done? It's interesting you mentioned that because there's a survey done in the US that said half the women said they make the same or out-earn their husbands or partners. In the US? In the year 2020. That's really recent, by the way. Which is interesting because in these surveys, you know, sometimes you wonder who do they um who do they ask? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who do they talk I've to? never who been asked, asked before in the survey this I've way. I've never done a yeah. survey before. Such so a survey. Uh? I don't know. We <laughs> should find out, definitely. But anyway, um, in our day and age, you know, because I think we're about the same age, right? We're like millennial yeah. generation Correct. and stuff. Let's not reveal our age. Uh, let's not reveal our like, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, you still look around your 20s lah. So, mm. yeah, no? Oh. <laughs> actually, I have no idea. I have no idea how old okay, uh, <clears throat> Let's move on, <laughs> no, right? No, actually. <laughs> I mean, um, I, I'm very comfortable with sharing with my current partner, you know, mm. certain things as well. Because I think we're at the stage where we do want to settle down. Yes. You know, we do want to talk to each other about these things. So, like you said, do you think it's very important that you have these conversations before you settle down with someone or is it too tough of a conversation? Do people still keep a little bit of secrets here and there, you think? I think if you reach the stage where both of you are going to settle down, yeah. it is a conversation you must have. Mm. You know, it's like, you kind of have to plan for the future because, I mean, do you want to have kids? Yeah. If you're going to have kids, who's going to stay at home? Yeah. Or are you going to get uh, someone, a helper to come take care of the kids? Mm. That's our thing. So when you decide these sort of factors, you kind of need to know, so who's going to so-called maybe mm. take a step down from their job or take a lesser workload on their job? Mm. Because if her job earns more money... Then that just makes more sense yeah. in a way. On Yeah. Mm. I don't know. But definitely must have conversations. Yeah. Because in, in a very uh, much more ideal world, right, we have such conversations yeah. and then we don't fight. But, you know, in the real world, <laughs> we have these conversations that everybody fights like a lot of the time, right? You know, you kind of get into a tough or tense yeah. um, environment and conversation, <sighs> right? Have you ever fought with a, like a girl that you dated before over money issues? Money issues? No. Never, really? We've never reached that stage. Oh. Like I said, yeah, we have never <laughs> reached that stage where we talk about money. So what stage have you reached, KG? Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> but I do have a good story. Okay. I'm about, ready for it. Yeah, because at that time, I was still like grinding it out, yeah. you know, starting my YouTube career. Yeah. So, I did tell this girl that I was dating at the time that, oh, I, I kind of want to like, because um, we were seeing each other, you know, the whole honeymoon period, yeah, yeah, very yeah, yeah. taxing, you know, yeah, have to see yeah. each other, not taxing, I, mean, I, I, I don't mean taxing, oh. I take that back, I take that back. Uh, it was wonderful, but but no, sometimes you, you kind of have to focus on your career a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So, I did tell her like, oh, uh, could we just take a, like a step back, you know, I'm not, I'm not breaking up with her, uh-huh. but I'm like, oh, like, I, I kind of need to focus more on my career now, you know, I need to upload videos, yeah, I need to yeah, create yeah, content, yeah. that takes time, that takes effort. And she actually offered, Oh. Th- this is a, this is like, she actually offered, oh. To give me an allowance. Wow! <laughs> that is interesting. Are you sure you weren't like searching for a sugar mama? <laughs> no, just, no, check, no, just, no, checking, no. just checking, just checking. No, no. I mean, okay, she, she's actually, she actually has a full-time job. You know, okay. She's doing well. Her family's a rich background as well. Okay. So, so when, when she offered that to me, you took I'm it. not going to lie. No, no. He took it. He took it. <laughs> I, took it. I couldn't resist. No, no, no. 
I think I think from my perspective as a guy also yeah, that yeah. didn't hurt my ego a bit. Okay, okay, it's okay. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, a yeah. step, you know. But then But no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Spoiler alert, I didn't take. I didn't oh, take the you offer. Didn't? I didn't take the oh. offer. Okay, I didn't take the offer. But I think that was my pride okay. as well. That was my yeah. ego. Like I, I think that was the moment where I did like, wait, I'm 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 like the guy, you know? Yeah. How 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 can I accept allowance from a girl? You know? I see. So, okay. I I wasn't too affected that she was earning more than me. Mm. I wasn't too affected that she, um, she's very successful in her job, but I was affected when she kind of like offered this gesture, even though it's coming from a good place, mm. coming from good heart. Yeah. But it hurts. It hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It exactly. hurts. Like it maybe if she she put it in a different angle, different. She said word it differently. Things could have been different. Mm. But when she offered allowance to you, it's like my mother, you know. Like I never take allowance from my mother, and I'm gonna take allowance from you. Hey, girl. So 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 so. How much did she offer? You? <laughs> <laughs> Since we're already on this no, conversation, no. No, no, no. you know. No 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 no. Let's okay, not go there. Give me like a range, you know. Okay, is we it like we a, we never read. Really... Is it like three digits, <laughs> four digits, like you know, Let, um, somewhere in between some three to four digits, where you can be comfortable. Oh. Yeah, something I, I just put what does that. what does that mean? I can be comfortable <laughs> with ten thousand dollars. Also, you know what I mean. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> not to that extent. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But I feel like if things were different, yeah, like maybe if we were like solid in a relationship, like that one was like we we only was like together for a month for two, mm, you know. Mm. So maybe if it's been like years and she knows that how hard I've been working on my career yeah. and she offered this, things would have been different. Yeah. I feel. Yeah, like you get a deeper connection, correct. and then from there, you know, you know that she loves you for who you are, correct. and she knows what you do. She yeah. wants to support you yeah, yeah, yeah. for you. So I don't really want to hand out, you know. Yeah, yeah. I want let me grind it out first. Yeah. Let me try it out, but and you might feel like indebted to her in some way, which you don't want yeah. to someone that you just met one to two months ago. Mm-hmm. So on that note, would you rather be relied on, or would you rather rely on someone? I mean, in in a perfect world, <laughs> in, a, let's, in a perfect world, it's, it's it's ideally both of us rely on ourselves. Like we we both have. You're both independent correct, to some extent. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. But personally, <laughs> I I would rather she rely on, rely on me. What's your star sign, uh, by the way? Just curious. Just uh, hey, you don't know what your star sign is. <laughs> Gemini. Oh, Ge- oh, really? You're I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Oh, interesting. Is that is that good or bad? I mean, there's always good and bad things to every okay, star okay, sign, okay. right? So me, like a typical Capricorn, I like to be relied on, right. and I like to be the one like always, you know, leading the pack and mm. like you know doing that kind of stuff. But um, something struck me that day. That I think it was my mom or something that said this. She's also Capricorn. She said, I know that you always like to be, you know, like to put a strong front and right. stuff like that. But sometimes it's okay to let people help you or let people lead the way. And I think she's also kind of subtly hinting like, you know, <laughs> it's okay to rely on your partner sometimes because I've been such an, okay, it, it is in my nature to be a bit more of an independent person. Yeah. And I don't know whether it's because also, I mean, I'm the only child, um, you know, I do support my parents too. And as a result, when I'm in a relationship, I tend to be that same person. I'm very independent. I'm very like, ah, I can buy this on my own. Mm. Or like, oh yeah, I like that watch. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Or, you right. know, stuff like that. And oh, I don't need, I'm not going to ask you to buy me gifts or like do this and that for me. Oh, dinner, I'll get it. You know, that kind of thing. So I don't know whether that has hurt my relationships as well at some point in time. Like making my partner feel less significant or right. less important. I don't know. I what don't know do if he think? feels less significant, but I feel yeah. like he needs to put more effort. Really? Yeah, I feel like he needs to work so harder. You're then. totally on my side. On <laughs> I am on your side. <laughs> I feel like it's the guy. Is the guy who needs to step up his game? Okay. You know? Okay. That's yeah. an interesting perspective. Like, I, uh, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm quite a old Easy school, going. Oh, old school, okay. old school in that perspective mm. where I feel like a guy, yeah, needs to. If if a girl is doing so much mm. and you want to support her. You, you want to be with her, you have to like be on her level or mm. even more. Yeah. You know, you cannot be like chase, like you have to chase her. Yeah. But like, I, I would want to be helping her. You know, mm. I wouldn't want to be like, if she doesn't want this, I will try to find something that she would actually want. And I think that's the the beauty of it. So, why are you still single? Hey, don't ask me. <laughs> I I'm tell like, you. I mean, but from your perspective, you're quite like understanding, you know, you're very open-minded. You know what I mean? Like, I, is it is it because you're not looking or what's I going on? I think it's on? a YouTube curse. Eh? What? I I I tell you. Who else truth? is under this YouTube curse? Drop some names. <laughs> <laughs> it's a because we don't meet people. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm at home most of the time creating content, yeah. you know. We don't meet new people. It's it's very hard for me to like... And if we do meet new people, it's like someone in our industry, Online? our industries, okay. and they're all so-called taken or oh, they're all like okay. happily... Attached? Yeah, okay. yeah. And what about people on like on Twitch or like online? No, you don't meet any. No, I really are. Okay. No. no, 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 no. But this is not about me finding a partner. You know. <laughs> it has become something like that, though. <laughs> but I like it. I like this direction. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, you're most welcome. Yeah. I mean, you know, earlier on in the podcast, we we also asked if you would date someone who earns more than you, mm. right? But what if you're in a situation where you are so passionate about your job? I mean, I'm not sure how long you see yourself doing. Yes being in this industry yep. uh, which also is a question you can answer mm. let's say you're super passionate about this even though there are ups and downs in our industry right. and you are so you have so much fire for this job that you foresee yourself doing it for the next like 10 20 years you evolve in this industry um, and your female partner is earning significantly more than you and you are expected to give up your job at some point right. to take care of the household you touched on this earlier on about your friend, but yes. you personally, would you be able to do that? I, okay, so I think there's something beautiful about my job and what I do as a content mm. creator is it doesn't matter what I do, but there's always good content. Yeah. You know, if I have to stay at home, be a single, fa- a single father, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> if I have to stay at home, be <laughs> the house father, yeah. my house husband, yes. that's great content. Mm. Oh, that's a good way to see there's it, TikTok, actually. There's TikTok, there's Instagram. That's, there's, there's money to be made there. There's not a lot of house husband out there. So... Hey, quick, do it before someone does it. <laughs> get on it right I now. I need to get a girlfriend get, first. Get, get okay. girlfriend first, get married. Get, wow, that's a long way to go, but yeah. yes. I mean, okay, that's from a content creation side, yes, you know? Yeah. But if you talk about, like, I have to give up Twitch, I have to give up, like, YouTube, because realistically, I may not have the time for it. Mm. And because my wife earns a lot more. Yeah, well, she I, doesn't like you being on social media. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I've come across that before. Partners who are not comfortable with my social media presence. Right, right, right. Yeah. Let's say, hypothetically, she's like, ah, I don't like you exposing like our baby to the world. I don't know. Oh, that actually... You know, that, that, is, that is a that, thing. That's that a thing. That's thing. a thing. Some that's people thing. don't like it at yeah, all. Yeah. yeah. But babies are money. Cash cow, I tell you. Babies are cash cow. Okay? <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Oh, my God. Uh... Would I give up my yeah, passion? Would my... you? If your love is that strong and your bond is that strong and you're like, all I, I want to do is raise this family. I want to say yes now, mm. but I think it's, I would try to find a middle ground. Mm. You know, I can give up some things, but I don't think I can ever fully give up. You, you, you get what yeah. I mean? You need to still have your foot in something. Correct, part. correct. Still I need to like, hey guys, I'm still, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> But in the meantime, I'm also still here like, yeah, with yeah. my kid. <laughs> I won't post as much, you know, yeah, but yeah. yeah, hopefully we can find a middle ground. But if she's so insistent that, no, 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 you mm. have to like give up everything, then maybe, I, like I said, I want to say yes now. And I think I would say yes at that period of time when she asked me. But I think it, a little bit of me would have died. Mm. You know, and I don't, and I think if she's my wife and she really wants me to be happy, and she, she loves you, and she loves me, she would kind of be more understanding, and she won't put you in that position. Correct, correct. Yeah. You know, I would say yes, and maybe for that period of time where my child is growing up, and then when we have more free time, maybe I can pursue what I love again. Yeah, I can sacrifice a bit. You know, mm, yeah, since she's yeah. earning more money. Yeah, yeah. I think better be a lot of my money yeah. though. Better, <laughs> better be, a be lot more. significantly more. Yeah, better more. be a lot more, you know. And I better see a bit of it, you know. Yeah, but well, things that I hope we keep in this podcast. <laughs> it might be uh, be made a meme after this. KG, thank you so much for your time thank and you, sharing bro. your personal stories. Because I I feel like sometimes maybe you don't really want to like open up too much about all these things on a public platform. So we're very grateful thank for that, right? Yeah, Not no everybody worries. does that. Um, so I myself have been tasked with a little bit of homework. So I had to ask my boyfriend mm. if we were married and if I'm earning more than him, he had to quit his job to take care of the family, would he do it? So to give you some context, he is actually 14 years older than me. And, uh, you know, so we are at... I, I don't know whether I would say like we're at different phases because if we were at different phases, we wouldn't be dating because mm. I feel like dating is all about being in the same phase of life, right? right? So maybe because in our industry, we grow up, grow up a lot faster too. We get exposed to a lot more things and perhaps that's why. So yeah. I don't know, but yeah, so it'd be interesting to hear like his full view of this. Let's see if he responded. He's recording! <laughs> recording audio! <laughs> I want to hear 
hear it. <laughs> I want to hear it. I'm too. very oh curious now. I'm invested. I'm invested. I am too. Oh my god, that's killing me. Recording audio is killing me. FYI, thirty second audio recording has come through. Shall oh, we wow. hear it? Wow. Okay. I hope he doesn't sound boring. Okay. So the question is, if we got married and my partner is earning more. And I had to quit my job. What would I do? Why does he sound like that? Um, I I had to think about this, and I think the answer would be yes. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. I really like my job. I enjoy what I do. But you know, someone's got to take one for the team, right? And if Sons can earn more, why not? Um, and I guess Sons, when can I quit? <laughs> Good. That was yeah, a good. Yeah. Okay. What? What an interesting perspective. <laughs> when, I I did not expect him to say that. Right. Actually. I love it. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. He's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. I think you know what? I think at this point of time, yeah. I feel like a lot of guys are like okay with it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think so too. Actually. Maybe if like you ask my parents or like yeah. the slightly like older generation, mm. they might say no. Yeah. But I think this generation, like, yeah. Okay, so here are some more perspectives that we actually found online, okay? Listen to this, okay? okay? I quote, When I started dating my girlfriend, she made significantly more than I did. So, she was the one who paid for our meals, outings, vacations. Now, I make significantly more than she does, so the roles are reversed. At no point in time did I ever feel emasculated by the arrangement. Right. If you need the power trip of financially dominating your significant other, then what you have is a pet, not a partner. Do you agree with that? Financially dominating than what you have as a pet. Oh, very fierce. Eh? That's really pet. fierce. Yeah, that's yeah really fierce, I know, eh? I know. But that's an interesting male perspective as well, right. I would say, right? Okay, second one here. My wife earns significantly more than me. Mm. When we started dating, it was more than two times what I earned. Then after a few years, the gap reduced to a little under two. The disparity has created a bit of stress on her since she ends up ta- tanking the majority of our family financial commitments, which I have absolutely no issues with her mm. earning more. So it's kind of similar to yeah. what you're saying as well. Do you think this is a more modern perspective compared to our parents I right feel back so. in the day? I honestly feel so. Yeah, I know. I think so too. But it also le- le- gets me thinking if I would ever lie to my significant other about, about how much income. yeah would you would you if you felt like it might make her feel better I'm, as well? I, I think I would you would I would you would for I the really greater yeah. good <laughs> for the greater good for the greater yeah. good you would no okay. but okay like, a thought just came to me where it's like yeah. I feel like females now I'm not saying all females they don't know how to cook you know they, I'm not saying that a woman must stay in the kitchen. Okay, I'm not saying that. But but you get what? I'm, okay, what I'm yeah. trying to say is like, it's it's funny because how the roles have a little bit reversed. Yeah. Where guys have take up an interest in cooking. Yes, I, I love yes. to cook. Yeah. Oh, you do? I do. Okay. I love. What's to your cook. specialty? Oh, Come I, tell it to the single uh, audience. Okay, I do like to make like shepherd's pie. Oh, that kind of thing. Nice. Okay, but. What, what you want is a sweetie pie or a cutie pie right now. <laughs> no, but yes. Yes. So, um, like guys, I've even changed baby diapers before. I feel like guys have adopted the role where it's okay, you know, we're like yeah. we're, we're okay with cleaning, we're okay with like cooking, we're okay with being the stay at home. You know? Yeah, so when I, I spoke to Jeremy about this as well, and I said if we get a dog, like can you clean up the poop and everything and I'll just, you know, cuddle it. Yeah, you you take photos with it. Yeah, yeah. he said straight up no, la, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> he should be a permanent uh, voice in our podcast moving forward. As no. Well. No, but yeah. just no. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's an interesting perspective regardless. And I'm so glad that you and also Jeremy are kind of on the same page in some way. You know what I mean? It's not like two very differing yeah. points of view. And it really, you've brought up a good point as well with the roles being a little bit more reversed. Mm. Um, majority of my girlfriends don't cook, don't want kids, um, would not also clean up after their dogs. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. So the conclusion is he's not dating any of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main conclusion. But I mean, I mean, obviously, in all seriousness, do you have any other uh, words of wisdom to impart to our audience before we wrap it up today? I I do think that this this whole podcast, this whole yeah. wherever we are watching this from, it's very interesting because yeah. this is my perspective mm. and. Typically, in the back of my head, I thought that I'll be the weird one. I thought I I I thought I'll be the weird. I thought I'll, I thought this is the only 
way I think because of what I do as a content creator. But yeah. hearing from first hand from what your boyfriend said, yeah. and he's like from a typical working office industry, job. office yeah. job, yeah. and he didn't mind that. And things have really changed. I know. You know? Like the, the perspective of people have changed. And if you still think that way, if you still like, feel like insecure about it like oh I'm a guy I must earn more I think this kind of opens your eye a little bit you know mm. from female perspective from a guy perspective we're fine with that mm. you know I think we have we have created like we are on equal grounds yeah you know I don't see myself as oh since I'm a man I have to be better than you yeah I think it's, it has become like oh women can do as much as or even better than guys in certain aspects of life and money is one thing where I think women is definitely better at I buy a lot of useless things. I'm not gonna lie. I buy, I spend so much on useless things. What but, was your last useless purchase? <laughs> just oh, like note before we wrap up, I right. wanna know. I bought a bonsai, a mini bonsai. Oh, I, I just got heat up. I just got a bonsai. Oh, you also? I did, yeah. Yeah, it cost me a lot, like a few hundred. Oh, okay, mine was hundred. La. Yeah. yeah, but like you don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> but you do though. I do though. <laughs> YouTube and it brings you happiness. Yes, it did. It did. Right? I like looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah okay. That yeah. was that was strange, but okay. <laughs> He's just like I like looking at it. At the end. <laughs> That's the reason why he bought the bonsai. It's flight. true. It's oh nice man, Kenji, thank you so much for joining us thank on this episode me. of Men Explain. Yep. Uh, hopefully, we gave you a bit of clarity. Haha. <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> on this entire topic, I think this is a topic that will constantly be addressed. Mm. Um, year after year, yeah. century after century, it's definitely going to be a topic that's revisited like, time after time. You have time. to update the school, school exactly. textbook. Yeah, you definitely yeah. have to. And like he has been emphasizing, this is his point of view. <laughs> there can be many points of view. Seriously, there could be many views yeah. and, and many different perspectives. So feel free to tag us in any of your stories, drop us DMs, anything at all at itsclarity.co. That's where you should follow us on. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Men Explain. Thank you so much, KG, as well, for being here with us. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you again real soon. Yep, and good luck to the next man coming on this next show. Really, really good luck, good luck. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs>